Okay, welcome back. I'm just going to do a quick video on um, servicing these pedals. They've got a main spindle and a, a bearing in the back and a bushing in the front. So I'm just going to quickly take out the weatherproof shielding. It stops all the water getting in and any crap getting into the the main bearing in there. I want to hold the spindle with the Allen key and then just loosen off the nut which holds the axle in place. And this is really easy to do. I mean, these are just my pedals, but this this routine applies to most pedals out there. They're usually a bearing on the outside and a bushing just there on the inside. So there's no actual bearing as such in there. There's a bushing which runs. It's like a, two parallel shafts which with a amount of grease in the middle creates a nice what they call a bushing and it just stops any corrosion it's quite it's, it's quite it's good because it's load bearing so most of your, your your weight goes through your pedals obviously and uh, having a bushing in there just makes it last longer and more reliable so yeah and you've got to make sure they're looped so that's the first part get the axle out the next thing you're going to want to do is get in this bearing, the old bearing, out of the back of the pedal. Now there's a little washer in here which I'm struggling to get out. Oh, I've got it. There's a little washer in there. You want to make sure you keep that because that'll be a particular size to the to suit the bolt, the axle. Sorry, the axle thread and the nut that's on there holding that bearing in place. Now I found a little way of getting these bush bearings out without causing too much stress. It's just a series of washers. Drop a Allen bolt in there and you want that Allen bolt to come through the bearing like so. Put the washers on to protect the pedal body and then with a nut on there holding the Allen key underneath. As you can see holding the Allen key underneath there. Just got to tighten this nut up and it'll actually pull the old bearing out of the housing. And it's actually quite easy to do. And this way you're not going to damage the the facing in there which holds the old bearing. And it's just a lot quicker, nicer, easier way to do it. And a controlled way of doing it, I should say. Yeah, so there's the old bearing. And I don't know why, but Boardman chose to put a ZZ in there. No. These are alright, they're good bearings, but the ZZ means a metal shielding on there. And what that means is, um, water can get in there. But equally the same, the same is true for oils or greases can get in there, but... Uh, I just prefer the um, the 2RS kind of bearing, which is this one, which has got a rubber seal on there, and um, you just know that nothing's going to get in there, and by the same token, nothing's going to get out, because these are pre-greased and there's grease in them. So just get the new bearing out. I might give that a clean then in there. Just get an old rag, put it on the Allen key, give it a quick clean out in there just so the bearing's got somewhere nice to sit. You can see in there now. I'm going to put the new bearing in place and just get it so it's ready to sit in. And what you can do is you can use the old, sorry, you can use the 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 bung or the cap out of the end of the um, pedal just to put that bearing, seat that bearing back down into place. It's a really neat way just making sure that the bearing is back home as it should be. And then you can see the new bearing in here then. And all that's left to do now is to give the axle a little bit of a clean on the old seal. Just make sure those faces are nice and clean. Just 
stop any water or muck getting in there. And the, this is the same there actually, because there's a bit of grease there, a bit of dirt. Let's make sure that's clean. That's that face of the bushing I was telling you about. Like I say, bushings are much more robust, they can take more of an impact. They last a bit longer, as long as they're greased, of course. So, if we put the axle mostly back in, and I've got some grease here and a syringe, which makes it really easy to apply. And just put a, a bit on there. And then as you go in, you can wind the axle in, and you can make sure that that will spread the grease evenly on there. Not too much, but obviously not. you want to do enough in there. And there you can see the axle coming through the new bearing. And like I said, there's that washer you mustn't lose because that will keep your spacing and hold the uh, inner race on the bearing rather than pressing down on the outer race because it needs to rotate. You don't want to get, you don't, don't want that washer. Um, you don't want that washer catching the, the seal or the outer race of the bearing. You want it just to sit on the inner race because that's the bit that's going to rotate. So there you can see that nut is, uh, the washer is seated nicely on the inner race there. All that's left now to do is to tighten up the nut that's already in this socket. You can see it's gone on there. Hold the axle with an allen key on the bench and then get your socket and just reasonably tight. You don't have to go mad, just reasonably tight, and that should be enough to hold the axle. Ah, you can see that's, like, well, I can feel that's really smooth now. And, um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's a really quick way just to, just to swap the bearings. And what I like to do as well is I just like to inject a little bit of grease just down the side of that nut, as you, I don't know if you can see that, just to stop. Like, if any water does get in through these threads, there's a little bit of grease there between the water and the bearing, just to stop stop it getting into the bearing and then tighten up the cap, the weather cap and that's it new bearings, grease the bush in, caps on tight rinse and repeat with the other pedal and that's all you have to do